Welcome to another episode of Staffordshire Hood Object Focus in celebration of the BBC's Art That Made Us Festival. Today we're looking at object 588, a gold cross pendant or pectoral cross with filigree wire decoration and this big round garnet in the centre. Now filigree is decoration using fine wires soldered and fixed onto the surface of this cross to create these lovely spiralling patterns and boarded edges. And the Anglo-Saxon craftspeople making objects like this almost one and a half thousand years ago, they were able to draw gold wire up to 0.1 millimetres wide. So this wire is incredibly detailed and incredibly fiddly to, to sort out and put all together. So it really is a piece of master craftsmanship. One of the arms has snapped off and this bears a suspension loop where a cord or chain would hang this cross around the neck of the wearer. And we can also see that one of the arms has been badly bent inwards. Like much of a Staffordshire hoard, this damage probably hasn't happened in the ground. It's not damage from being ploughed or anything like that. This is damage that's happened to this object before it was buried. When the hoard was buried, probably between 650 and 675 AD, it was a time of religious change. The earliest Anglo-Saxon settlers had been pagan, but by the 7th century, many kingdoms had converted to Christianity. King Pender of Mercia, whose wars against neighbours may have created the conditions for the assembling of the Staffordshire Horde, has been described as one of the last great pagan kings. So we have quite a complicated religious situation, and within that we do see a small number of Christian objects in the Horde. So how do Christian objects like this sit alongside what is essentially a hoard of war gear? Does it make sense that we have ecclesiastical objects like this alongside swords and helmets and scabbards? Well, actually, perhaps it does, because whether you are pagan or Christian, you're probably going to be taking your priest with you to the battlefield to pray for your success. Another very famous Christian object in the hoard is the Latin inscribed strip. And that roughly translates to, Arise, O Lord, may your enemies be torn apart, and those who hate you flee from your face. So it's clearly invoking a warlike intention upon the enemies of God. So these Christian objects can be seen through that same lens as the swords and helmets, as almost objects of war gear in their own right. Mm -hmm. 